Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Apple TV. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the Apple TV itself and the other parts you might need to get started using it. So the Apple TV is a multimedia streaming device. Videos, music, photographs, all those other things come from the internet and go straight to the Apple TV. The Apple TV is comically small compared to the previous generation of Apple TV. It's a tiny little device, and on the back of it, you'll see the ports that we have. There's very few of them now. So there's a power port. There's an HDMI port for connecting to your TV, both audio and video. There's an optical port here for connecting to a high-definition audio source, like a home receiver. And there's an Ethernet port here for connecting to your home network if you're going to do that hardwired. There's also a USB port down below here that is used for service. So you won't need to worry about that for the most part unless you want to hack this. And in general, most people won't need to do that. The box also comes with the remote control here. Very simple. We'll show you how to use that in an upcoming episode. And we also get the power cable for this. The transformer is inside, so all you have is just a straight cable with one end that connects to the Apple TV and the other end that connects to the wall. Other cables you might need here are the HDMI cable. This is what connects to your HDMI out port, and the other end will connect to your television. You might also want an Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable will connect to the Ethernet port on the back here, and the other end will plug into your router or to an Ethernet port in your wall. You may or may not have this. Chances are you'll want to use Wi-Fi, but this is an option as well if you have it. So the first step, of course, is to take the power cable that came with your Apple TV and plug it into the back of the Apple TV, like so. And then plug the other end into the wall. Oh, so the light comes on on the front. That means it's powering up. So the next step is to take your HDMI cable and plug it into the back of the Apple TV. And then plug the other end into your TV. And then after we select the right input on the TV, we see the Apple TV interface on our big screen TV. Now we use the remote to interact with it. We'll show you how to do all of that in upcoming episodes of this series. Don't forget to check out the show notes for this part of the series at butterscotch.com, as well as the show notes for all the other parts.